Thank you all very much for coming here. Islam is the first uh, belief system or ideology that understood that being young has got its own connotations. But not as youth culture as we understand it today, where is it to be abused. Futua is about how to harness the energies of youth for the benefit of your own self and that of society. But it is a difficult process. Radwa Ahmed, Farnan Ali, it's group two. Is everybody there? Group three is Ahmed, Jibran Masood, Ahmed Dueli, Abdul Aziz Yakub. Group four, which is the rest of you, is Mujahid Hanan. Children need to take advantage of this and use it like a brand new glove. They got UFC fighting champions. Like this is I got facilitators doing leading different workshops. I'll be doing drama with them tomorrow. Give chance to the man. I want you to speak to someone who you've never met until today and find out something about them. And I'll give you guys two minutes and then you can come back and say something about them. If you concentrate, you'll walk out of it 50% better at being able to defend yourself. That's guaranteed. But you've got to concentrate. There's a reason why you're doing this. So, okay, Eric, listen and learn. Let's go. telling it to do what you want it to do. Do you understand? And that you actually haven't got complete control over your senses. Right now, who's hot? Put their hands up. Who's hot? This sir. Yep, yeah. who's hot? Hands up, hands up. Okay, and you guys are at this, you're in this stage right now where everything's sensory. Even when you're training, you're thinking to yourself, okay, I'm gonna hit like, you're relying, you're relying on your eyes, you're relying on your physicality, but really, what we're talking about here is we're talking about learning it in a natural, responsive way. Now, the nature of fight, you cannot fight if you come in with all harsh energy. It's impossible to win. You can ask any ex expert martial art, they will, sell, they will tell you the same thing. So, the two energy now you can see just now we learn, everyone is you know, in very high pitch, you know, want to do something. Now, all of a sudden, we've been called to prayer and peace. SubhanAllah. That's Nyama. <laughs> That's balance. Do you, do you think that everyone who is of a certain age is a man? It depends on your actions, aren't you? Okay, so it's about your actions. So what actions do you have to take for you to be a man? Yeah. Look after your family. Yeah. So yeah, have some kind of responsibility. So being responsible, right? <laughs> and the nature of youth in each and every single generation of Islam, they're the ones who ultimately what rise to the higher calling. If the youth, the generation of youth, are not radically changed, then the ummah cannot be radically changed. And that is why it's critical that this type of engagement, and it not only is a one-off engagement, but it's continual. And it becomes critical that you become the leaders of this engagement. I, you don't wait to be engaged, but you're the first one to engage. When we came here, I thought, whoa, because first I didn't know what's going on because my mate here told me to come. And basically I didn't know nothing, but as I'm now, two, three, four hours I've been sitting here learning stuff, I really enjoyed it. I want everyone to like walk around the space. And when I shout out expressions, I want you to become that expression. So if I say arrogant, boastful, Start walking around and you're arrogant and you're boastful. If I say humble, humble, soft, then change into humble, soft. 
Let's start with leg for work. Beep, beep, beep. Humble, so. Humble. Before I came here, it was like, Ken. It was very like, I didn't respect it like this and I was like always messing up by outside. Never followed which was causing trouble, getting arrested, but then today I feel like I'm doing something that I'm useful in it. What we're doing is we're taking the youth from a reactionary mindset, which is the obvious problem, which is them judging life through their previous experiences and bringing them to a state of positive response. Where the physical training fits into this is letting them know that their sensory perception isn't as solid as what they thought it was. Because like, I went to the other classes and they told me that life's not just about acting bad and stuff, it's more into the deal. And here that we have to be people as youth who are, or people who are, struggle against the oppression of the world in order to bring about a world that is truly beautiful and truly tranquil. And we can only be that if we become people of a higher calling. People who understand that this religion is not just for me, but it's a religion. The ethics of the religion is something that all of humanity is in dire need of. Everybody's in need of being in a state of peace. Break away.